Ever since the Newtown tragedy, it's been on every parent's mind. We've reported on four guns taken to local schools just this year. A college shooting right in our own backyard. And just today in Atlanta, a 14-year-old student shot in the head. So you can understand a mother's concern after hearing her child was on a school shooting threat list. A cash fund for local cheerleaders drained and someone connected to the squad is accused, who investigators say stole their money, but not their team spirit just ahead. In an exclusive interview, 15-year-old Sarah Cavanaugh talked to Dr. Oz about her successful efforts to take brominated vegetable oil, or BVO, out of Gatorade. Originally invented as a flame retardant for kids' clothing and mattresses, soda manufacturers use it in yellow and orange drinks to keep the ingredients from separating. And I was just really thrown off that a company like Gatorade that said, you know, that claims to be so good for you and that it's a health product would use an ingredient like this. The FDA maintains it's safe for use as a food additive, stating it is permitted on an interim basis pending further study. My issue is that the government regulations need to be changed. They've got to be updated. Some reports suggest excessive consumption could lead to harmful side effects. And there's actually been two cases on record where people have had bromine poisoning from drinking just epic quantities of BVO drinks, but they've had uh, memory loss, loss of muscle control, and even bromoderma, which is skin lesions popping up. BVO is banned as a food ingredient in Japan and Europe. About 10% of drinks sold in the U.S. have it, including Mountain Dew, Powerade, Fresca, Squirt, Sunkiss Peach. I can't be around fireworks. The smell of diesel, that'll bring me back to where I was in Iraq. You're just ready to just jump at any moment. Zach Alexander served in Iraq. He's been home for a couple of years. It was only last year he hit bottom in a meth house and he called the PTSD Foundation for help. My daily routine was to get up and, and look out the blinds, but never open them, look out the blinds just to more or less check my perimeter. Ray Wodinski served in Vietnam. He sought treatment at the Houston VA Hospital for PTSD 16 years ago. I had a friend who was concerned and, and took me up to uh, the vet center. Zach spent four months living in the PTSD Foundation's Camp Hope. It's interim housing and counseling for PTSD war veterans. Both are fathers with failed marriages and had difficulty holding down a steady job, but they're slowly recovering. Karen Thompson, head of the PTSD clinic at Houston's VA hospital, explains PTSD is real for war veterans and civilians too. Something that can happen to people who are in a car accident or a natural disaster or have an assault, so it's not limited to the military. So what about what happened in Erath County? The executive director for Camp Hope says, don't just pin it on PTSD. Some other psychological factors could have been an issue. The PTSD causes them to say, I am hopeless and I don't deserve to live. And that's why we have 22 suicides a day, not 22 mass murders a day.